Normally they are definitely up by this time. I'm trying to take advantage of the fact that they're not. So, I pretty much took waking up before them off of my goals list um, because it just felt like it was impossible. They wake up so early that I would have to wake up at like the crack of dawn <laughs> in order to be up before them. So I'm like, no, never mind. I just cannot do it. I think that I might like implement a like wake up time like you can't come out of your room until a certain time like maybe eight o'clock or something i may have to do that because them getting up so early um it's just not okay yeah so it used to be it used to be just cameron that was getting up so early but then um the other two started getting up early it was savannah first and then kendall started waking up and kendall's like my late sleeper he sleeps so late but lately he's been getting up like a half an hour earlier i guess because the other kids are getting up what do you guys do um do you let them just kind of get up do you end up waking them up um my problem is that i love that they start they wake up and go you know i love that they wake up and get straight into things but it creates such a big mess that i'm not ready for and it doesn't give me any quiet time to think and get myself together in the morning so i end up having to do it all at night which means that i need to i end up going to bed even later which means that i'm not awake in the morning and it's an ugly cycle so anyway i figured i would just chit chat my way through this day last week we started a math boot camp and um i started preparing for our next unit which is going to be the body unit so i printed out a few printables that i found online and um and i started getting my resources all together so i could plan that unit and hopefully i can film um I can film while I plan that unit but I just thought that our math boot camp was working out so well that I wanted to extend it another week so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on this week with the math boot camp and the thing behind the math boot camp is just that we've been doing so well in other areas and we just haven't given math as much attention they still get daily math practice through apps and things like that but I haven't been giving it a strong bit of attention so um, I found printables online for graphing paper um, for uh, clock paper type of deal um, I uh, grouped together all of our math apps on our iPads I have a few other manipulatives and then I found other stuff around the house that we could count um, and yeah so we're doing a math boot camp and they're really enjoying it so far and I'm able to really like um, tell the things that they are grasping and the things that they need a little extra help on. What I need to do today. <laughs> I have nothing on this board. <laughs> Last week when we started the math boot camp, I was supposed to have covered the board in math facts and problems and all of that, all of that type of stuff. And I did not get around to doing that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this week. So this morning, I'm gonna get some stuff on this board um, I'm going to lay out all of my printables and I'm going to kind of sort of create little stations. So let me tell you about my math centers, I guess. I like to introduce things in real life and I like that they get a really good grasp on it first before I introduce things to them, um, I guess, on paper. That's kind of how we approach pretty much everything. Um, before I try to lay out, you know, a, um, a lesson or anything like that, I try to give them exposure to things as much as possible before I then explain what it is. And for us, that works out really, really well because then I don't end up frustrated um, feeling like I'm not explaining it well and they don't end up frustrated feeling like, what is this lady talking about? <laughs> what is my mom talking about? So um, that works out really well. 
and that's kind of how i approach like multiplication and division when we do skip counting you know we we haven't been doing formal multiplication like facts but um but we do we've done skip counting and so when i did finally introduce actual multiplication we just kind of slowly moved into it by trying out some apps and we would do the multiplication section instead of like addition or subtraction or whatever and when i did it with them uh yesterday they automatically got it uh, and they had a stronger understanding of it because they were so well versed on the skip counting um and i think that's actually how you probably teach that <laughs> but, but because you know i didn't get formal education on how to be an educator i wouldn't know that so i'm just learning along the way so we use that same approach for everything basically and i'm starting to ramble so let me just move on what was i trying to say i don't know what i was trying to say <laughs> anyway so um i just wanted to try to pull together some math centers nothing super crazy i have to remind myself of that because i can get a little bit extra so what i'm just going to do is put some goodies up on the board here i have i picked those up they were super inexpensive I have some of our um, daily warm-ups out. I got these from 5Js.com. I like these. I just printed out these math sheets so we can use them to do different things. A little coin container. This is for some money practice. And I'll show you what I did with that if I can find it. Where was it? What did I do with it? I had a little laminating party the other day using my rules of laminating <laughs> i made sure that whatever i laminated was actually something that um that should be laminated what did i do with it you guys oh you know what i put it in their work boxes so inside of their work boxes i put these um new little laminated sheets let me show you so I'm basically today, since it's math boot camp day, I'm gonna take all of this out of their work boxes. Math boot camp week. So we've been using these, if appropriate. Um, Cameron and I just went over place value again the other day because like I said, they are introduced to them in their apps and things like that, but most of our math is done through real life application. And I, I started to introduce more worksheet type math if that makes any sense using these um smiling and shining in the second grade daily math warm-ups and they were doing really well with them except for i noticed that they were taking a longer time to complete them so that's what we would work on every day is having them complete the worksheet in um in a faster time frame than the day before. Now they have pretty quick math skills because everything that they do is on the iPad, but because they're so used to that, um, I think it it just takes a little adjusting when, it, when they try to translate it into worksheets. Does that make sense? Anyway, so. So these were what I made the other day. I have this little glass bowl with coins in it. And then I made these in pages on my computer. So I just uh, created a spot for quarters, nickels, dimes, and pennies. And then over here just says, how much money do you have? And I laminated them so they would be able to write on it and reuse them. There we go. Nickels go there, dimes go there. So once they have them sorted, then they can start to add them up. So I thought this would be a good way for them to practice, you know, sorting first and then adding. In the other sheets that I printed out, there's actually four or five of these. It just has the amount down at the bottom and then a space, like a little tower space for you to be able to stack up your coins to make that amount of money. Obviously, there's more than one way to make that amount. So the idea is that they'd be able to just kind of practice together and then they could... Um, compare one another's answers to see the different ways that we can make those amounts. I think my math cards might be in here. Yes, they are. So this is my little manipulative spin and I did these as well. I just try to keep my printables pretty simple. 
so that I don't overcomplicate things. <laughs> yeah, it has the amount down at the bottom. So the idea is I'd be able to lay them out and have them put the um, appropriate monies on top of the cards, if that makes any sense. So this, I thought we could use coins and then also coins and dollars and bills coins and dollars that's the kind of morning i'm having right now <laughs> anything that's math related so i'll take these out i can use these um these and also we'll use these for some multiplication and addition fun so i'm going to put um different math apps kind of already up on the screen on each one so that they can take turns. Okay, so I think I'm ready. And I think I hear the kids up. They're hanging out in their room right now. So I'm gonna go and get them. Did you really do? <laughs> Okay guys, we made it through to lunchtime. Okay, so we're doing picnic lunch right now and um, I picked up some books from the library. So we've got picnic lunch going on here. You guys, picnic lunch inside is the best thing ever. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So I, if I give you this, now you tell me how much money you have. So there was two ways that we made 27 cents, right? Mm -hmm. You guys did a great job. High fives. <laughs> okay guys, we're all done for the day today. Um, we did pretty well. Uh, we got in everything that I wanted to get in and I think it was a success. So now the kids just started working on their language again. Um, Savannah, and, Savannah and I were working on math still and the boys wanted to get into Duolingo again. They have been so extremely, extremely obsessed with Duolingo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm learning how to say soldier. Soldier? It really cool. looks like an army man. Because an uh, army man is a soldier. I so this is what I was talking about. This is his little bot. That he's talking to. Curry. Wait. She. Curry. What's it has called? A, uh, a career. Mm -hmm. A career. It's something you do at work. <laughs> something you have. And so he's doing German over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brian is going to drop off some packages at the um, post office. I'm gonna let them finish this up. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today. And 
yeah, I'll see you in our next video. Bye.